Hello everyone and welcome. Today we'll be looking at the Chemo Cordless Vacuum Blower. Now I got this blower for cleaning my shop since I'm always making a mess in here and also for cleaning the inside of my cars. Normally when I make a mess in my shop I use a big bulky electric plug-in blower or a plug-in shop vac. Both of these have the problem of the size and dragging the cord around. They're rather inconvenient and I got tired of the hassle. So this little fellow right here is supposed to be a convenient alternative to the big blowers or shop backs. Now let's open this guy up and see what we get. Now this was an Amazon purchase so as you see it comes in a plain brown box. So let's look what we get inside. So it comes in a nice soft pouch for storing it, carrying it around, stuff like that. Green, chemo, that's the chemo colors. And let's see what we get. Around this way. So you get a couple of tubes that you're going to be using. You get the unit itself. There you go. And let's see. This is the battery. There you go. There you go. Now this is a 4 amp battery. I'll explain in a moment. You get the chemo charger and this is a bigger charger than the other ones that I've seen so maybe it's a faster charger we'll see and you get a dust bag this is for the vacuum function and the instructions manual on how to use it and that's it like I said nice uh, soft pouch uh, kind of a synthetic material durable very nice and it stands up on its own very convenient Put that aside. So let's see, like I said, you get the uh, pouch right here for using it as a vacuum function and you get the tubes and the battery charger, all that. I'll explain how to use all this as we go along. So let's see, first of all, they had two models to choose from. They had the two amp hour battery and the four amp hour battery. This is the four amp hour battery. I chose this one because you get a bigger battery for only 20 bucks more. So the difference of the whole package was only 20 bucks, which is way cheaper than buying the battery by itself. So that's a smarter way to go. And like I said, these are from Amazon. I'll put the links to both of them in the description. That way you can choose what's best for you. If you want to save money or if you want to get the better package, you pick whatever works best for you. Now this is very lightweight and very compact. I mean, it's only 11 inches by 6 inches by 7. So 11 this way, 7 this way and six up and down. So the height is six inches, the length is 11 and seven in width. That's very compact. And it only weighs three pounds. I mean, very, very lightweight. This should be very, very convenient. And like I said, it's a blower and a vacuum. So you can put the tubes over here on this end and as a blower, or you can put it on this end and it acts as a vacuum. So we're gonna explore both those possibilities as we go along. And it blows up to 20,000 RPMs, or 150 miles per hour, and it has a variable speed trigger. So the trigger is variable speed. I'll put in the battery in a moment, you can listen to it. So that uh, should be convenient for whatever you need to do. And it comes with a two-year warranty, and it has a 30-minute runtime on just one charge. So right now the battery should have, oh and the good thing about these batteries is they do have a display on the side here that tells you what you have. You can see this one is just a tiny bit of residual energy. I'm going to drain it out completely and recharge it and we'll find out exactly how long it takes for the 4 amp hour battery to charge up. We've already tested the 2 amp hour battery, now we're going to test the 4 amp hour battery and see how long it takes for that to charge up. So this little guy right here has enough power. You, you can use it for, like I said, cleaning the inside of your car, blowing out the, the shop, blowing out your yard, leaves, sand, snow, whatever you want to use it for. So I'm going to try it out on a couple different things and see exactly how strong it is and if it can deliver on what it promises. So first of all, let's see. Now, if you're going to use it as a blower, what you do is you take these uh, two um, attachments here and like a normal blower, you put this on the front and it has like a couple little prongs in here. I don't know if you can see it, but those little prongs go into these 
little slots right here. So you have to line it up and slip it in, and there you twist it, and it will not come off. That's pretty good right there. And more prongs on this one that line up to this end. So you put it in here, and there you go. I mean, it's a very, very compact unit. You can see it fits almost in the, in the screen. Very compact unit. That is very, very good. Lightweight, like I said. Let's see. It has a little bit of charge. I'm going to redo it, but I'm going to fully charge it. But right now, let's see how it sounds. And you slip it in to the back here. Well, that sounds pretty good. That sounds nice and strong. Let's, well, let me take, you know, I'll take this off so it's easier. You'll be able to see how it blows anyway. Let's see, let's put this bag right here. You'll see how, how it blows, let's see. That blows pretty good. That is pretty nice. Yeah. And like I said, variable speed. Let's see. So depending on what you're doing, that may be convenient. Now to use it as a vacuum, what you do is you put this, you can put the shorter one on this side. Again, you attach it um, with the two prongs on here, put it on here, twist it, and there you go. Now it's a vacuum. And I'll show you how to do it in a minute. I don't have anything to demonstrate here, but we're going to make a mess and we're going to figure out how it works. And then the bag goes over on this side. So you attach it on here and this is your vacuum right here. Suck it in through here and all the stuff is captured in the bag right here. So that's pretty cool. And let's see, I'll just demonstrate with the bag real quick, but we are going to make a mess. Let's see. Oh yeah, I don't want that to get caught in there. There you go. Yeah, that sucks it up pretty good there. So you take this off of here, take off the bag, and the bag does have a zipper on it for easy cleaning it out and discarding all the stuff that's in there. And it's caught on the little threads there, but I'll have to get that undone. So it's caught on the little thread, no big deal. These are all threaded together. It's like a polyester material. So it should be easy to, uh, you know, Rinse it out with water and soap and water and clean it up when it gets really messy. So that's pretty good. All right, so then let's see, as far as the charger, it's your basic chemo charger, very simple, just like the other ones, I'm sure. Green means it's, it's uh, power is on. Red means that it's charging. When it goes back to green means battery's fully charged. So we're, we're gonna take care of that in a moment. And uh, let's see, four amp hour battery, that's pretty good. You know, one thing I like about chemo, one thing I find very convenient is that all their products that I've seen so far, I haven't found a single one unless they change it in the future. But up until now, every single product that they sell comes with a battery and a charger. So every time you get another product, you get another battery. You get a free battery included. That's pretty cool. That's actually more convenient than some of the other companies out there where you buy tool only a lot of times because they make it cheaper that way. And actually, this little guy right here is if you haven't seen these before i started looking these up online and there's a lot of different brands out there and this one retails for 94 dollars on amazon with a coupon and like i said link in the description below and if you compare this to other ones i did a little bit of shopping around and there's other name brands out there you know black and decker dewalt makita etc there's more but they were all more expensive than this so all the other name brands are way more expensive than this guy here, and a lot of them are tool only. So this one is the tool, battery, charger, all the attachments, and it's less expensive than the other one. So it's a much better deal as far as I'm concerned. So that's why I thought to give this guy a try for all sorts of different things. So let's find out how it works. Let's put it through a few trials and see what it can do. So let me give you a size comparison here so you can understand why I decided to buy this product. You can see the difference here between this little fellow that I just got, the green chemo, and the big gray blower with the long cord that I was using up until now, or my shop vac. So that shows you I needed two things to do what this little guy here can do all by himself. He can replace these two items right now. And you can see the size difference is considerable between just the two blowers alone. And if you look at it this way, you can see, look at the, the difference in width and the difference in bulk. This one, the green one, is obviously much lighter 
and will be less tiring to use on a long-term basis compared to the gray blower. And like I said, I don't need to swap two machines. I can just swap the bag and go from blower to vacuum all in one shot. And this little guy can also use all the two amp hour batteries that I have from Chemo. So I can go from a four amp to a two amp and use whatever I want, whether I want it to be lighter or run longer. So you can see right there, I put a two amp on this guy right now. Okay guys, so here we are back at the bench and I have the battery fully charged on the charger, as you can see, fully charged up. And it didn't take that long. It took a little bit over an hour to charge it up, which is faster than what I've seen before. So we're going to take this battery off the charger right now. And as you can see, fully charged up. And we're going to be doing some testing on the blower back with this brand new battery fully charged up and see what it can do. But before we do that, if you like the videos I produce, product reviews, tests, and stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another video, whether it's a product review or a DIY project, whatever it may be, I'm always looking out for ways to help out you guys. Anyway, one thing I wanted to point out about these batteries, the reason that this charged up a little faster than previous times is because, as you can see, this is the charger I just got right now. This is the previous charger that I've gotten with other tools. The uh, drill that I got and the impact driver that I got both came with this style charger. This one is bigger and faster because if you turn it over and you read the specs underneath, you find out that this is a 1500 milliamp charger. This is a 3500 milliamp charger. So I just got an improved charger with this tool right now. It can charge up the 4 amp battery much faster than this guy will. Half, well, half the time, I would say, because it's double the battery capacity and it did it in less time than this one. So it's a much faster charger. And I'm pretty sure I can put the two amp hour batteries on this charger as well and do it a whole heck of a lot faster. So I just increased or improved my battery charging capacity and my battery specifications with just buying this one product, which is what I tell you is really cool about Chemo. You get better charges, better batteries, better everything every time you buy another tool. So we're going to test this tool out right now. Let's go see what it can do. Okay guys, so here we are looking at the floor of my shop. I just made a mess because I was making another video. So I was doing some drilling and cutting and stuff like that. So I have a big pile of sawdust to clean up. What am I going to do? Get a shop vac? Get a broom? No. I'm going to use my Chemo shop vac, the new one that I just got, and in shop vac mode. So let's see what it can do. Brand new battery, fully charged up. Fresh battery, I should say. Fully charged up. Let's see what she can do. <laughs> There you have it, all cleaned up and ready to go. And now all I do is take the bag out and open it up and clean it up. And as you can see, uh, you know, it's all in here. You open the zipper, fixed it all up and you throw it all out. Where are you? There you go. You can see all the dust and garbage that I just picked up and it's a big pile of mess. But as you see, it does a fantastic job picking up sawdust and all sorts of stuff. So it is a really good, powerful little package for using in your shop. Very convenient. All right, let's go do something outside and see how it blows real big things like leaves and other stuff. And it just happens that we had a lot of winds the other day, so my yard is pretty messy right now, which is a perfect opportunity to try the chemo outside as a blower. So all I gotta do is move this around to the front and let's go use it as a blower.
right, so here we are back at the bench. Some final thoughts on the Chemo Shop Back Blower. I think it is a fantastic blower. It's a great purchase. I'm very happy with it. I mean, you saw it cleaning up inside. It works fantastic uh, cleaning up, you know, sawdust and stuff like that, particulates around the, the shop. It even works even easier in your car, which the particles are going to be much smaller than the sawdust and garbage that I just cleaned up inside uh, the shop right now. And you saw outside it blew the leaves like a champ. And with a 30 minute runtime, you could use this to clean up the outside of your house, no problem. If you have a small to medium sized yard and you just have some uh, sidewalks to blow off, some leaves here and there you gotta get rid of, that's perfectly fine. I mean, if you have a huge forest and you put down a lot of leaves on a regular basis, you may either wanna get more batteries or get a different kind of blower. But from what I can see right now, I'm very happy with this purchase. I think it is a fantastic item. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I suggest looking into the Chemo Blower if you want a small, compact, lightweight blower. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.